हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज किशन जमरिया टुडे मी एंड माय फ्रेंड्स ज्योत हाथी एंड साहिल वसोया आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन हाउ टू मेक अ डिजिटल क्लॉक यूजिंग डायना 8085 एंड 8255 हियर वी यूज 8255 बिकॉज इट हैज अ पोर्ट फॉर अ इनपुट एंड आउटपुट टू सेट द पोर्ट एज अ इनपुट एंड आउटपुट इट हैज अ रजिस्टर कॉल्ड कंट्रोल वर्ड नाउ लेट्स सी द लॉजिक we require three counters one for a second one for a minute one for hour initially the counter of a second incrementing and when it reaches to the 60 it will reset the counter of a second and increment the counter of a minute now after some time the counter of a minute is reached to the 60 it will reset the counter of a second as well as minute and increment the counter of hour and as we are now we using the uh, 24 hour format the counter of r reaches to the 24 it will reset the counter of poles now let's see the code hello friends my name is jodhati and today i am going to discuss a code of a digital clock as we discuss in a logic that we require three counters or three register in which one for hours second one for minutes and third one for a seconds and also because we are going to use a ports of 8255 we have to set control word first here 33 is a port address of a control word because the clock is a continuity device we require one loop here we uh, here we uh, label loop by lop when the clock starts we are going to first display hours minutes and seconds here 31 is a port address of b 30 is a port address of A and 32 is a port address of C. So we are going to display hours on a port B, minutes on port A, and uh, seconds on a port C. As the clock starts, your uh, counter of a second is going to increment. But we have to check all time that it is uh, reached at 60 or not. If it not, then we have to jump on loop two. But if it is, then we have to reset the counter of a second and increment a minute. It is also possible that counter of minute is uh, reached at 60. If it is not, then we have to jump on loop two again. But if when we have to uh, reset the counter of minutes and second both and increment the counter of an hour. But it is one more time possible that uh, counter of an hour is reached or no maximum. It means 24. Then we have to re- then we have to reset the counter of an hour, minute, and seconds. And if it is not then we have to uh, jump on loop 2 here the loop 2 is location where all the codes or after all ex- ex- execution we came as we know that the clock is a display on uh, after 1 second delay so we have to generate the delay of 1 second but as we know that 8085 has a frequency of 3 uh, megahertz and uh, by the help of register pack technique we can generate maximum delay so If we take a register pair technique and three megahertz uh, frequency, then we can generate only 0.5 meg a uh, 4.5 second delay. But if we but as we know that we require the delay of one second, so we are make a loop of that 0.5 second so that we get one second delay by this instruction. And after the the delay is generated, we have to again jump on loop uh, which is labeled by LOP. I hope you get the idea about the code and logic. स्विच ऑन द पावर सप्लाई एंड यू विल सी फ्रेंड इन द डिस्प्ले ऑफ एट जीरो एट फाइव एंड ऑल द एल इट इज ऑन इन द डिस्प्ले ऑफ एट टू डबल फाइव This is port A. This is port B, and this is port C. We are using port C for seconds, port A for minutes, and port B for hours. We have to convert our uh, assembly level code code into a opcode. Then say, uh, first reset, then set C triple zero and increment. We have to put the opcode in our uh, our opcode in a eight zero eight five kit. Now. We have already done it, so we will reset it. Go C triple zero and execute.
when you execute in edge read file there will be e on the display So after every minute, there will be a one on port A. Now similarly, after 60 minutes, there will be one on port B.